stars right on page. They certainly have an opportunity to do some pretty big things down the playoffs. And I think for them, one of the storylines is that they got Minna Atherton back. She was so big for London in season one, but she hasn't quite been at that same level she was in season one, where she did break the world record in this event, being the first ever under 55. Yeah, and, and this event is loaded. It won't be easy for Kira Tassan. In fact, the highest rated event overall the entire day, 36 plus thousand. And there are three of the four, including the number one and the number two swimmers in the 100 backstroke, Moss and Tucson, respectively. And you can't cut out Ingrid Wilm, who has the fastest time in the league this season. Wow. Unbelievable, right, Bernie? I mean, it's the credentials for these swimmers. And this is potentially a race with a pretty big jackpot because Kylie Moss has scored 19 points and Ingrid Wilm has scored 19. And to Scott has scored 12. But was Mina Atherton. She's the world record holder, the ISL record holder, and she's not even mentioned. She has not been on form here during this ISL season. Go get her, go get her. Tassan in the middle in the green cap, trying to get her seventh win here in the backstroke, but she's even with Kylie Moss all the way out there on the left side in lane number one, headed into the final 25. Kylie Moss has got great closing speed. Ingrid Wilms got great closing speed, and Tussan trying to hold off both of them and get another win for the round. Oh, Wilm. Wilm does it. Ingrid Wilm for LA gets her hand on the wall first. Boy, the finishes we have seen today have been astonishing. The last five meters, how she was able to get her hand on 31 and a half points and they get a little bit of separation between LA and the Toronto Titans. She's won this event once. No Castiglione from Italy for Aqua. She is out with flu-like symptoms, but you have the world record holder, Avia Atkinson, right there, rated second in this event overall, next to Lily King. He was great on their medley relay yesterday. Had a good split, Alia did. She can swim anything from the 50 to the 200. Sticks to the 50 and 100 here during the regular season. Annie Laser won the 200 yesterday. So you've got Laser and Atkinson, both of them kind of marrying here in the middle. 29.8 going out. Wow, that's two tenths off the world record. That's so fast. That is flying out there. I mean, she is way out there, leaving no doubt. And now you've got to start thinking jackpot. We haven't seen a lot of jackpots today, Bernie. 2.2 seconds is the jackpot. She's definitely going to get somebody in there. We've seen Atkinson score as many as 15 points. Atkinson. Great finish. Atkinson. Wow. That is a great finish indeed. 103.58. That's four one hundredths of a second faster than Lily King went. And just as the deficit had crept under 10 points, yeah, these two events here for LA are fairly on the weak side. So Toronto hoping a swimmer like Schwingenschlag or McKee can make some noise here to try to close the gap to LA. He's won this event three times, but all four swimmers, Kaminga, Schwingenschlag and McKee have won this event historically in the ISL. Everybody's looking up to Ilya Shimanovich from Energy Standard in this event. He closes better than him in this field than Martin Nagy. If he has the lead at 75, which he does. Lights out, right? I, I really believe that. Now, McKee's a good closer because he's got a great 200. But here comes Kaminga, his teammate. Aqua's going to go 1 2. Aqua, they love the breaststroke. Kaminga actually gets the win. 
Allie Atkinson. She scored 31 and a half points and on the backs of her breaststroke win in the 100 meters. A new swimmer has yet to win this. Olympic gold medalist in this event. Desperation mode for LA. They really need to win this and I don't think they're gonna do it. Greenhaft is looking so good right now. Oh, great turn though at the end. Look at how tight this is, Kroon. He's got a chance to take over the lead, the final 25. Sheffer trying to get a win, and it's gonna be Kroon getting it done for Toronto. He did the same exact thing as he did in the 400. Half points for the London Roar who find themselves on to... Man, what a great start to our first week of playoff action here in Eindhoven. Thursday, Friday, the battle between Energy Standard and the Cali Condors went down to the final skins race, and we've got the same thing on the table potentially here. Well, it really boils down to this. If you are an LA fan, you are pulling for the outside lanes. Toronto, believe it or not, who's about 75 points down to LA, and you're really pulling for Aqua, which really doesn't have a chance here, but you almost have to pull. If you're going to stay ahead or at least hang in there with London, you're pulling for Summer McIntosh. It's 10.4 seconds. It's all about McIntosh. Really smooth on the left side of the screen. Third and fifth. That's not bad position right there. I think both of those swimmers are going to go. Well, I know Pickram's going to go by Gasson. And I think Shanahan might too. All right, so the checkpoint points belong to McIntosh. And she gets six. She will steal the point from Sapluchu. So she winds up actually officially with seven points. Nine seconds. She's she only got a second to give away on this final 50. Yeah, you can kiss that last second goodbye. Summer McIntosh is gonna beat her by more than 10 seconds, and Toronto is gonna make a huge move here. Summer McIntosh, the teenage star, gets it done again for the Titans as they go one, one two, two in the 400 IM. Wow. And Gasan touches 11.6 behind, so she loses the checkpoint points. McIntosh winds up with 24 of those 31 points. And it is time for the skins. Imogen Clark did not swim the relay a short time ago. Atkinson did, but. You've got to figure the money is on Atkinson for 350s. If she can get by this first one, I like Atkinson. Only four will survive this first round. This is tight, folks, here with 25 meters to go. Imogen Clark got the win earlier. Ali Atkinson surging home. Imogen Clark trying to survive. And it looks like LA's going to get two. Kurbanko and Clark. Atkinson and Carraro survive as well. Boy, that is exactly what needed to happen. He was incredibly versatile. Just make sure we're conscious on the start, okay, so that we're still getting that good, fast reaction. As they're underwater, they're going to be amazing as always. Believe it or not, London has a little bit easier task along the way. Look at how tight this is. Carraro on the right court. Banco, Clark on the inside, and Atkinson in the green cap trying to search home. Gorbanko looks pretty good. Imogen Clark trying to get there as well. is gonna move on as well as Atkinson. You, you have to believe with Shields and Murphy in the 50 fly, even though London has had Carter and Chalmers, you, you, you almost have to believe London needs this more than LA. Gorbanko in five, Atkinson in four. LA in the lead over London. Good start by Atkinson. Just a great start off the blocks. 0.65. Really got her off that start. 
These are the two teams trying to battle it out for their first playoff win of the season. And look how tight it is, folks. London, L.A. battling it for the points. Oh, Atkinson had a great pull out there at the end. Atkinson trying to give London the lead going into the final event. And Alia Atkinson is going to do it. No! Oh, Gorbanko! Oh, my goodness! How did she do it? By three one-hundredths of a second. Bernie, yep. she came up first. Great pull out, but watch Gorbanko close at the end. I thought for oh, sure long. it was Atkinson. Atkinson was long. That was the problem. She was real long. Not sure she could not have, have taken another stroke and look at Current on top with one event still to come. All right, our final event of our second playoff match, the men's 50 fly skins. Wow. This has got everything. Everything. Well, Corbanko flipped the strip. We'll see if Chalmers or Carter can flip it back. If Shields gets through to the second rounds, it's his to lose. But there's a lot of speed out there. Getting to that second round a tall order. Look at how close things are. Dylan Carter looks good to move on. Chalmers looks good to move on, but it's going to be down to the touch to the side. Who moves on? Carter, Shields, but Chalmers. Chalmers, two from London. They're right back in it, folks. Chalmers gets in there. And in the biggest of ways. Take points, it's on your reaction. Eight okay, so and a half points, the, the lead light. for LA. Great job. Well done. It really all comes down to this right here, even more so than the final, I think. Boy, it really comes down to the start for Shields. He's dead last off the blocks. Now, he was last in the individual 50 off the blocks, and he came back and won that. London, though, they've got the first two to the turn, but watch Shields coming off the wall. Does he have that speed? London still no. finds himself in front. This is tight, folks. Down to the wire. Reverse Shields. Shields. London is out. L.A. They get their first playoff win. Oh, my. Shields seals the deal for the L.A. Current make the final four, but it could haunt Toronto in the end. One more swim. Revolta trying to get the win for the Aqua Centurions. Yeah. And thinking back the last two seasons, you've been yeah. around here for three seasons. I can't remember a more dramatic match. Yeah, but a couple of them, season one, the, obviously the grand final in Las Vegas went down to the skins, went down to the right. the final term, but uh, again, some great drama in this one. And, and the crazy thing about this one, Roddy, was the fact that three teams were really in the mix right. throughout the majority of it. <laughs> Tommy just... He is slow off the blocks, so there's no doubt about it. But boy, what he does underwater is just sensational. Revolta trying to hold off Tom Shields, trying to be the Skins winner, trying to give Aqua a little momentum going into their final two matches. And Aqua, they've got a Skins winner. Revolta gets it done. Definitely some reasons on day two for the Aqua Centurions to look forward to their next two playoff matches. Laid it on the line so much, those first two swims. Just didn't quite have enough. And Coach Junta can celebrate, finally, celebrate the first skins match. And you see Federica Pellegrini, the first one. Into the final day, they had a pretty decent margin. But Gorbanko and Tom Shields in the skins, they do enough for the current to get their first playoff win. And so two playoff matches in the books, four points for the Cali Condors. And for LA, they get four points as well.